Hello everyone. Example 2 pure bending. The cross sectional area of the beam is shown as in figure. The beam is subjected sub, the beam is subjected to a bending moment M equal to 22.5 kN that acting about neutral axis. Determine the absolute uh, maximum bending stress in the beam and draw the stress distribution over the cross section at uh, over the cross section at this location all right so there are two questions here the first one is what is the absolute maximum bending stress and the second question is uh, draw the stress distribution okay so that is the question one that is the question two okay so we have the maximum bending stress equation which is the sigma max is equal to the mc over i okay so m is the bending moment okay so bending moment and c is a distance okay so that is the distance from neutral axis okay from neutral axis to the uh, top or bottom surface okay bottom surface of the beam okay so for this case uh, because we have the we have the neutral axis here so the c will be okay so from neutral axis to the top surface or uh, the neutral uh, from the neutral axis to the bottom surface which is here okay so for our case uh, c1 let's let me put ct so a c top and this is the bottom for this case the c top and c bottom has uh, same the same value okay have the same value okay so in order to to solve or to determine the maximum uh, bending stress so first we have to determine uh, the value of i okay so for this case the i okay the total i for for i shape beam okay so i put i total here so this is the i i total okay i total or i beam okay i four beam so it's equal to the summation of oh, sorry uh, let's me delete this one first okay so the i total is equal to the summation of Okay, so I bar plus A D square. Okay, so I hope you still remember this is just the revision, just revision from the uh, static cost. Okay, all right. So for the I beam, okay, so we have the I beam. So we can divide this beam into uh, several simple shape, which is the rectang rectangle shape. Okay, so I can uh, divide okay the, uh, the overall I shape beam into several simple shape, which is let's say this is the shape one. Okay, so equal to uh, this is the shape two plus shape 3 okay so that is the shape 3 okay so from the overall beam so i can divide into sim three simple shape okay the first uh, rectangle second uh, rectangle and the third uh, <coughs> the third rectangle okay so for the i total so we can rewrite the equation it is equal to i1 plus i2 plus i3 okay which is equal to uh, i bar plus a d square for shape 1 plus i bar plus a d2 for shape shape 2 Okay, d square sorry d square plus i bar plus 
AD square for shape 3. Okay. Alright. So now, so the I total. Okay. So we can also uh, expand the equation. So I bar means I bar is equal to 1 over 12 BH power 3 plus AD square okay, for shape number 1 plus 1 over 12 BH power of 3 plus AD square for shape number 2 plus I over 12 BH power of 3 plus AD power of 2 for shape 3. Okay. Alright. So let me draw again uh, our beam. So we have the I beam. Okay. And then shape number 1. Simple shape number 2. And then simple shape number 3. Okay. So that is 1, 2, and 3. And here will be the neutralis. Okay. Neutralis. And the neutral axis will be somewhere here. So that's the neutral axis. So what is the D? Okay, what is the D? So D, okay, so D is a distance from the neutral axis to the central of simple shape. Okay, for this simple shape, the central will be at the middle. Okay, so the D is measured from the central of uh, simple shape to the neutral axis. So that is a D1. Okay. How about the D2? Okay, because the centroid of D uh, of shape number two lie on the same line with the neutral axis. Okay, so the centroid for the simple shape number two lie on the neutral axis. So for this case, the D2 for this case the D2 is equal to zero. Okay, and then for shape number three, okay, so the centroid will be at the middle. So the D3 is will be from the neutral axis to the central of the simple shape 3. So we can uh, write the equation. Okay, total is equal to 1 over 12. So for this case B, this is B, this is H. Okay, so if you go back to the original equation, so B is equal to uh, 0 0.25 okay uh, equal to 0 0.25 and then h equal to h equal to sorry h equal to 0 0.02 okay uh, power of 3 plus area equal to 0 0.25 times 0 0.02 and then d d is equal to okay uh, 0 0.6 sorry 0.16 okay square and then plus for shape number so this is for shape 1 okay for shape 2 is equal to 1 over 12 so b equal to 0 0.02 and h equal to 0. Point, okay let's go back to the equation 0 0.3 point 3 power of 3 Okay, and then uh, so uh, so we remove the equation a d square for shape number two because d equal to zero. Okay, here d equal to zero, so this equation equal to zero. Okay, and then plus so this is a shape for number two. Okay, and then plus for shape number three one over twelve. Okay, zero point two five times zero point zero two power of 3 time uh, plus 0 0.25 times 0 0.02 times 0 0.16 square okay so that is for shape number 3 okay solving this equation so the i total is equal to so i total is equal to uh, 3.014 times 10 to the power minus 4 m power of 4. So from here we can calculate the sigma max. Okay, so sigma max equal to the mc over i. So m is 22.5 exponent 3. K 
okay times c so c is equal to uh, 0 0.15 plus uh, 0 0.02 so is equal to 0 0.17 okay divided by i i equal to 3.014 times 10 minus 4 so the sigma max is equal to uh, 12.7 megapascal okay so if you draw the beam Okay, if you draw the beam from the side view, okay, from the, uh, okay, from the side view, okay, for example here, so let's say this is the beam, front view, okay, let's say this is the front view, so if you draw in the side view, we can see like this, okay, so there is the side view, okay. So, so since the moment okay, acting uh, at the new about the neutral axis M, so we can write that the distribution will be the maximum at the top, and then uh, minimum, okay, and then also maximum. Uh, at the bottom ok so the stress will be uh, maximum at the top and also at the bottom but one will be in tension ok so the other one will be in compression so let's say at the top is uh, tension ok and then the bottom will be in compression ok so remember that the, the stress at the neutral axis okay, at the neutral axis is equal to zero. Alright. So that's all. Thank you. Bye bye.